did you give up for Lent? Well, I gave up spoons. I give up my homicidal tendencies. Oh, that's good. Now they're genocidal. Oh, no. Oh, I give up Netflix. Um, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and HBO are still on the table, but I haven't watched Netflix. I gave up my dream of having a podcast. This year for Lent, I gave up. What did you give up? I gave up. Are you okay? <laughs> I also gave up Twitter. That one was actually kind of good for my mental health. I think I'm going to stick to that one. Yeah, eating yogurt with a butter knife was a pain for a bit, but I got used to it. Why didn't you use a fork? I thought my podcast was doing so good. You know, I might also give up Facebook. That place is for dinosaurs anyway. I can't use a fork anymore. Not after the incident. So I actually did the opposite. Um, and much like Jesus carrying the cross, I picked up a new vice for the next 40 days. I had like 23 listeners. I would give up TikTok, but then I'd miss the next Devin Palmer skit. Let's just say I became a vegan. Huge mistake. But I found out that my wife actually just created 18 accounts just to listen, so I wouldn't feel bad. Actually... You know what? He posts them all on Instagram. I will give up on TikTok. And the the, the, the fork got stuck in the horse's leg. And the, <laughs> the screams. Oh my god, the screams. <sighs> yeah, so for Lent, I gave up uh, allergies. On a, uh, so on a completely unrelated topic, I, uh, I have the world record for most times being stabbed by an EpiPen. <sighs> this was a huge mistake. <laughs>